Happy Valentine's Day, Glads. I'm Marissa Trahill. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. College visits are dominating the Counseling Center news. Mark your calendars for these college rep visits. The reps from Colorado Mesa will be here today, and tomorrow the UCCS reps will be here. Next week on Thursday, Adams State reps plan to be here, and then the Lamar Community College reps want to talk to you next Friday, February 23rd. If you're interested in modeling and acting, check out the visit on Monday the 26th when the Barbizon Modeling and Acting School reps will be here at lunch. Closing out our February visits is CU Denver on the 28th. Remember, it's never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have a pass from the Counseling Center. For those of you planning to attend Pikes Peak Community College in the fall, tomorrow is PPCC's application day, and their admissions staff will be here to help you fill out your application. They'll be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help you register for classes. If you haven't already submitted your application for the Fountain Valley Scholars Scholarship, you're in luck because the deadline has been extended to next Friday, February 23rd. Access the application online and the Counseling Center's webpage and submit it to Miss Abeta in the Counseling Center no later than February 23rd. Seniors, remember to get your photos to Carrie Carmody. Please make sure your photos are seniors only. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today's homemade pizza. Come on down and get a slice. Really good stuff, you know. And then tomorrow, barbecued pulled pork sandwich. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. NHS members, you have a mandatory meeting this Friday at lunch. If you are unable to attend, please see Miss HK or Brandon Parrott prior to the meeting. Glads, if you're interested in auditioning for the WSD3 talent show, those auditions will be held on March 1st in the band room from 3 to 5 p.m. They welcome individual and group performers, musicians, dancers, and thespians. Please contact Miss Miller for more information. When we come back, we'll have club news and fundraisers. But first, we're throwing it to Ethan Simon for our Gladiator Sports Update. Happy Valentine's Day, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon with your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports will start practices on the 26th, and you will need to pick up a yellow card to play. Get your card today in the main office. Remember, you also need to have a current physical on file. Don't wait until the day practices start. The line gets crazy long. Glads, the jazz band is looking for a few good bass and electric guitar players for next year. If you have the skills, please see Mr. King in the band room for audition information. Congratulations to Mariah Boudreaux for placing fourth in business ethics at the FBLA competition. With this win, Mariah also secured a runner-up position for the state competition. We forgot to mention this on Monday, but this season our, our forensics team has earned the most Congress points than any other school in Southern Colorado. For that, they won a traveling trophy this past weekend. Way to go, forensics team. The team is headed to regionals this Saturday. Good luck to all participating members. NJROTC cadets. Outside guest forms for the military ball are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them is March 1st. Get yours early to ensure that your date can attend the ball. In wrestling news, we have six grapplers going to stay in Denver starting tomorrow and going into the weekend. Good luck to all those wrestlers headed to the big show at the Pepsi Center. Attention lady soccer prospects. Miss Sardinia is holding a kick around in the small gym next Wednesday, February 21st from 6 to 8. For all ladies interested in getting some play time in before the season starts, hope to see you there. The WHS baseball team is having a uh, flapjack fundraiser on Sunday, February 25th. The team will be serving breakfast at Applebee's on Highway 8587 from 8 to 10 a.m. Cost is $10 per person. See any baseball team member or stop by the main office to buy your tickets. Stay tuned on Friday for Doc's Health Tip of the Week. hey -o! The Ultimate Frisbee team will begin practices on February 20th. That's next week on Tuesday after the holiday. If you would like to play but need more information, see Mr. Nell in room 160 or Mr. Wallace in room four. And now a short film. Suck, suck. Who's there? Police. Police who? Police will remember to pre-order your gladiator socks today. See your friendly neighborhood doc by February 21st in the front lobby to buy socks, such as myself, for $15. Oz party night, mate. Yay! 
Order your Gladiator socks today because who doesn't want a pair of those socks on their feet? And finally, in basketball news, both basketball teams took on the TCA Titans on Tuesday. The Lady Glads took their great attitudes up north but fell to the Titans. Our Glads had to fight a little harder for this win but managed to get the dub to continue their winning streak. Next up for the girls and boys team is Canyon City Tigers tomorrow night. The ladies are at home in Bowers Gym at 7 p.m. while the men's team travels south for their game at 7 p.m. against the Tigers. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Ethan Simon and now back to you Marissa and Kieran. Thanks Ethan. Students, Whitefoot High School has been chosen to be a pilot school for a program called Below the Surface a free mental health counseling service. If you want or need to talk to someone privately and free, text the word TALK to this number to reach a mental health professional to share what's on your mind. Remember, this is a free confidential counseling service, especially for teens. Check out the posters on campus for more information. Attention Power Club members, please meet in Miss Sardinia's room, that's room 130, at lunch tomorrow for your yearbook photo. Please remember to wear your Power Club shirts. If you lost something on campus, someone brought it to the business office. Please stop by the lost and found bin and reclaim your stuff. The bin is overflowing and any items not claimed will be donated soon. Teachers, you should have received your golden tickets this week. Remember to give your golden ticket to that one student among all your other students who deserves it the most. Students, if you received a golden ticket, remember to put it in one of the boxes for your chance to win. Prizes will be awarded at the assembly on February 27th. Don't wait, put your ticket in a box. Attention NJROTC cadets, the military ball is next month and ladies, it's time to start scheduling those appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. See Ms. HK in the library or Ms. Molina in room 111 to schedule those appointments. Remember, the dresses are yours to keep. Of course, it's Valentine's Day. Freshman Council will be distributing candy grams this morning during first hour. In fact, they may already be knocking at your door as we speak. Thanks to everyone who supported this Freshman Council fundraiser. If you blew it and didn't order a candy gram, the Freshman Council will have a cakewalk today at lunch in the small gym. For just 25 cents, you can walk the walk and maybe score a tasty treat for your boo. But you can't win if you don't play, so come try your luck. Teachers and staff, this is the last week for the Purple Toilet fundraiser. Don't get stuck with it. Raise more money than the last person who had it. All funds benefit pennies per puppies. The Media Center is having another contest this month, celebrating everyday heroes. Check out a book this month to be entered to win prizes. Don't delay, check out a book today. The library also wants to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, backpack, or under your bed. This is a good time to pay any late fines so you don't get put on conditions in IC. The yearbook is having a hat day this Friday. Buy your wristband for $1 starting tomorrow and Friday morning in front of the small gym at lunch or after school. Every student who buys a hatband will be entered in a drawing for a yearbook coupon and other cool prizes. Finally, here's Chico the Chihuahua with a Valentine's Day poem. Hello, it's me Chico and today I'm going to share my Chico Grand Valentine's poem. I hope my Lolita likes it. Roses are red, I just can't get you out of my head. Violets, they can be blue, my heart it melts when I look at you. Daisies can be white, I know your bark is worse than your bite. Lilies can be pink, I love how much your breath is stinks. Marigolds can be yellow, when you are near me I shake like hello. The leaves they are green and I want to make you my queen. Please give me a chance, let me show you how to dance. My mommy, she says that you're just a mutt, but I know she would like you if she just smelled your butt. <laughs> Please be my Valentine! That's all our news today. Have a great week. I'm Marissa Trehill. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this was your KWHS News. Happy Valentine's Day!